Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are continuing our quest to find the hardest course on the Golf Club 2. So upstep the Tarantula Golf Club. As you can see, we are playing off the white tees, which are playing 7,153 yards. And as always guys, for this uh, series, pin selection numero uno. This course was actually designed by one of the fantastic devs at the Golf Club 2. It was uh, HB Keith who um, live streams on the, the Golf Club 2 channel. He seems a decent player and a really nice guy to boot. So I'm sure this course needs no introduction, guys. Um, it's very, very hard to hit fairway here most of the time. So let's see how we get on. It's a good swing. Sometimes, like I say, it's a lottery where this ball bounces and that should just kick on to the fairway. So we do managed to find a fairway here with a first tee shot. Just, just, just clinging on to the edge of that fairway there, guys. So, one four three left of the flag. The greens are normal here, normal firmness. Another good strike. Really happy with how I'm striking the ball again, guys. This should sit down fairly good. And that is a very good approach shot. Probably another about a six foot putt, seven foot putt for the birdie. Slight turn to the left here. And I do apologize about this controller issue, guys. And that turns into the cup for an opening birdie on the first hole, guys. Great to start off with a birdie. But I think this is about the fourth time I have played this course, guys. Okay, let's see what happens here on this it is a really four. challenging but this enjoyable course. This is another down. tough fairway to find here as well. Six wood. Just lofting it up a touch and hopefully this wind's going to take me round. Uh, I could be in the bunker here. I need a bounce. I need a bounce. Uh, I didn't get the bounce. And I land straight plumb in the bunker. 97 yards to go. So the sand wedge is the club. No idea how this is going to come out of here though. Decent lie. Just going to take up such a loft off this due to the wind as well. Sit down, sit down. Oh, that is a fantastic shot from the sand bunker, guys. We have played that really, really well. Probably looking about a 10-foot putt. 11-foot putt, which is just going to turn to the right edge. Hold its line. Oh, it's another good putt. And we do get to two under through the first two holes, guys. So we're having a really good round so far. Hopefully this continues. So, hole three is a par three. But this must be one of the most played courses on the golf club too, guys. Like I said, it needs no introduction. It's another good swing. Really happy with my swing. I have really been struggling with it previously. Probably go back two rounds ago and I was really struggling. A wee bit short there. I think I should have got that close. The wind's being really kind to me here today, but we do have another birdie opportunity. So, three straight birdies, guys. Three consecutive birdies. Three under for the Fantastic round. way to uh, start this round. Okay, let's tee up I think my one. best round here previously is four under. So, hopefully, we can go one better and beat that today, guys. But the way I'm swinging, I'm hoping to get about six, seven under. This is another tough way, fair way to hit here. The ball really bounces to the right-hand side. Just like that, sit down ball. And once again, we do manage to find the fairway, which is half the battle in this course, guys. This is a long par five though. Just looking to chase this three wood down there. But I do hope everyone's having a, a good Easter Friday. What is it? Good Friday it's called, isn't it? Yeah, good Friday today. That's another great drive. Is that going to hold the fairway? No, it's not. We've just trickled into the light rough, unfortunately, guys. So we are going to be left with a flop shot here. 
I think the 30 yards tailor made for this one coming out of this rough, just lofting it up a touch. Because this won't sit down as quick as I would like, it will run on a bit. Oh, it sat down fairly quick, but I would have liked that closer. So a 9 foot birdie opportunity, breaking to the right, this is quite a tough putt. Oh wow, the, the, the putter is on fire today guys, and we do start with four straight birdies. I have never managed this on the tarantula. Unbelievable start. We are making this tough course look fairly easy guys. So let's continue on the hole number five, which is another relatively short part. Um, four, but it's a severe dog leg right. Let's drop down to the free wood and I'm going to try and put on a huge amount of fade here just to get it on the fairway. It's a bit of a lottery this one. Hopefully that's enough fade. Once again, it's a good strike. Is it turning enough? I don't think that's turning enough. I think I'm still going to be in the rough. We just trickle. Oh, we're actually in a heavy rough. Okay, you're kind of in some. Deep so stuff. not an ideal location, guys. As you can see here, the heavy rough is quite brutal. So let's see if we can just get this close. I've got no idea how this is going to come out. It's all about percentages. It's another good strike, though. Surely not. This can't be so long, is it? Wow, look at that, guys. I have put that ball... I've put that about 25, 30 feet past the pin. At least it's up there on the dance floor. It's going to be a tricky putt, though. It's going to be a very tricky putt. 29 foot. Challenging putt, this one. Just want to get this close. Just want to lag this up there. Should start to turn right again didn't start to turn right at all and I have put that about six feet past the cup little six footer here nothing too scary so it's a tricky six footer for part just double checking this Solid par, holds its line nice and we do drop that for the par guys so we are going to stay so four under four fantastic under start to the round but I just want to take this opportunity to continually okay. Sorry guys, I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's continuing to watch the videos, show it love, um, interact with me, and also if there's things you're not happy with, people are saying so, um, I think it's fantastic, we do have a great community channel here, and i um, really looking forward, I'm not holding the fairway here, I'm like, oh no, we've trickled into the light rough, uh, really looking forward to uh, continuing the progress with the golf club 2019 guys and uh, thanks to everyone who is signing up to the, the patron community side of the channel and also people who are kindly making donations to paypal it is uh, much appreciated i can't thank you all enough so it's a decent strike uh, we're right at the flag the way right at the flag right and long and that is going to be another tricky birdie opportunity here Got 21 feet to the cup from here. 21 foot. Breaking both ways. Uphill. Left edge. Sit down. Sorry guys, I said uphill. I meant downhill. And that has missed it. I've misread that one and that has went... Oh, jeez oh. Oh wow, look at that guys, that has went about 18 feet past okay, the cup, 18 yeah, here. 18 feet, so this could be a drop shot, that was a really test and put that on, oh I've left that a good bit short, I've left that a good bit short here, alright, about a three footer here, so we tap in the three footer, I would have liked to have been a bit more aggressive with that power putt there, but we left it three feet short. So that is a bogey, guys, and that is going to take us back down to three under par for the round. Hole seven is a par four, stroke index five. Once again, very narrow fairways to hit, but I've been very fortunate with the wind conditions today, guys. Um, we're only looking at single-figure winds. 
nothing extreme. Once again, that is a very good strike. Can we hold the fairway? It should kick to the left here. It does. And that is an absolute monster drive. We have nailed that 319 yards down the fairway. I'd say it looks like around 145 yards from the pin. 147 to the pin. Just lofting this up a touch because I fully expect the wind to help us out here. Hoping to get this dialed in. It's a good strike. That wind's not carrying my ball. I'm going to come up yeah, short here. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, and we kick into the bunker. The wind just did not carry my ball there. Seven mile per hour wind. I thought it would have carried me out a bit more there. So we're going to have a chip shot here. This is going to be a tough chip shot. I'm probably going to have to... The green looks flat, so I'm going to try and hit the flag stick. Oh, we managed to hit the flag stick. It just doesn't drop. And that is going to be a fantastic up and down for us here, guys. Hopefully we can get the par save, and we do. So we're going along nice here, guys. Okay, so that'll keep you at three under. Going to remain at three under par. All right, good chance. And we are on to hole eight already. We are flying here. One hundred and seventy-one yard par three. It's been a while since I've played this course, guys, but it's bringing back um, fond memories and also some not so fond memories because this is a really challenging course. Many of you have recommended it for the quest to find the hardest course on the golf club too. This is in. Oh my goodness, guys, and we just miss out on a hole in one there. I would have loved to drain that hole in one there, especially on the tarantula. So it's going to be a good birdie opportunity here. Which we take and we get back to four under par. Sitting at four under for the round. So we move on to hole number nine. Final hole of the front nine. We have played solid golf so far, guys, bar that one blip where we three putted. And this is another challenging fairway to hit here. Wisers. I'm going to go over there and just really loft this up and see if we can hold the fairway here. Pulled that ever so slightly to the left, but hopefully it's going to work out in my favour. Kick out ball, kick out. And it does kick out for us. And that is a fantastic drive. Look how far we've hit that, 330 yards on the nose. So, it does mean that we can attack this green here, but I'm going to opt to lay up because that's a very difficult green to hit and hopefully leave myself a flop shot, which I am actually executing really, really well. A few months back, it's a shot I wouldn't have taken on. Since I've really got my swing tempo improved, oh, it's actually going to be a pitch shot here, let me see. Yeah, we'll play the pitch shot. It's going to be slightly uphill. I pulled that left again. It's going to be short. It's going to come up short. Don't spin back. Why? Ball only went 39 yards. So why? This is a really tricky birdie putt here, guys. Absolute brutal break here. Severe break to the right. Just didn't allow enough for it, guys. And I'll tell you what. That has went about eight feet past. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Seven foot par putt, breaking to the left. We do manage to save the par, fortunately, there, guys. But disappointed not to get closer with that pitch shot to give myself a better, a better birdie opportunity. So we're going to stay four under, and we now venture into the back nine, guys. Starting off with hole number ten. It's another par four. Once again, very challenging fairway to hit. Good strike though. The light with how I'm striking the ball today, guys. No major pushes left. So once again, we get huge distance on our drive due to these firm fairways. 317 yards. Five yards to go still. We're now left with just a, 
and eight iron into this green here. Just going to take a touch off of this. I know we're on, we're on a down slope, but I've got no idea accurately, accurately how many yards that's going to add on. The wind should start to take us round. Oh, I'm really long. That down slope added so... I would say that down slope added... I'm going to say eight yards onto my ball there. Wow. Very, very hard to judge when you're on a down slope like that. It's going to be another tricky birdie putt. And what a putt that is, guys. Wow. A 31-foot birdie putt there. Absolutely outstanding. That is by far the best putt of the round. And we are now five under. And we are cooking with gas here, guys. Hole number 11. Another relatively short par four. The wind is against me this time. I should travel well along the fairway, which it does. And despite having a slight wind against us, against us we've nailed up 290 yards. yards out here. Let's see, we've got left. I think this club's bang on. Hopefully the wind's gonna take us round. Looks like this is a beauty. This should be a good shot if it gets up the hill. Oh, just a bit short, that might roll back. No, we do stay there. I thought there was a bit more of a slope there. But once again it's gonna be a brutal birdie opportunity here, guys. Turn left, turn, turn, turn. Oh, just didn't have enough. Just didn't have enough turn in it, did it? Three feet to the hole here. It's going to be a, a little tap in for part. Well, and we are going to remain yeah, five under here, here guys. You know that, but, uh, this is currently, if I do stay at this five under, it will be my best round on the tarantula to date. So hole 12 is a really short par three. Severe elevation down here, though. Just taking a touch off of this. Sand wedge and see if we can get this close. Not happy with how the club came back there. Good strike though. It's decent. I'm surprised the ball went as far as that, guys, to be fair, but I'm going to be left with a, a good birdie opportunity here. Not much in this little eight foot putt. This damn controller. Sony really need to patch this. And we do get the birdie, guys. I've moved to six under par for the round. We are absolutely flying here on the tarantula. So, hole 13. Par 4, stroke index 2. Second hardest uh, hole on the course. And as you can see, it's a very, very tough fairway to hit. I'm hoping to hit it here, though. I should just kick out of this stuff. And we've played that well. We have played that well. Our past rounds there, our previous rounds coming back to help us out for the, the drive there. Course knowledge. Just lofting this 5 iron up a bit. See if we can get this close. It's another really good strike, guys. This one's looking dialed in. This should be bang on. This should be bang on. The ball should start to turn to the left here. That is an absolute outstanding shot, guys. That is probably shot of the round so far. And that is going to give us another birdie opportunity here. Should turn severely to the left. It does. So, we get back on the birdie trail here, guys. Sitting at seven under for the round. And we are now seven under for the round. So a nice drive Playing well. Hole 14. Par four. Once again, very tough fairway to hit. Looks Fantastic like aerial view of the course here. there. 
Is it going to hold the fairway? Just. We just cling on to the right hand side of the fairway there, guys. And that is going to leave us with a 7 iron here. No, 8 iron. Let's have a look. Yeah, 8 iron. We've de lofted it. Give it a bit of extra distance. That's going to have to hit something. Once again, though, we're just a bit long. It might come. Is there a slope here? It might work its way back. No. It does look like we're going to have a severe downhill putt here, though. Surprised that ball didn't work its way slightly back. So this is a very tricky putt, guys. Downhill, 21 feet. Don't want to overhit this. Don't think I've hit it enough. Wow, I'm going to be 8 feet short. That was a nasty putt there, though. So this one's just to save part. And we managed to get the par saved there. And we are going to remain 7 under for the round. But really enjoying playing this course again, guys. I've not played the Tarantula in about 3-4 months. It's one of my favourite courses. It's one of them where it's a testing course. Sometimes it's, it's going to give you nightmares. Sometimes when you're playing well, swinging well like I am here now, you're going to be rewarded. It's another fantastic drive. Really, really happy with the majority of my drives here today. But like I say, previous course knowledge is helping me out a lot here. It is a fantastic course from HB Keith. So let's see, this gap wedge should be close. I'm confident this should be zeroed in. This is all over it like a rash. That is a fantastic shot, guys. We've probably got about a three foot putt for birdie. Can't be missing putts like this. I have done in the past though. And we do get to 8 under par guys. We are motoring now. Didn't expect to shoot as low as this. I'll be honest. But the, the round's not over. Got 3 holes left where anything could happen in this course. But I've been very fortunate with the wind. And I'm, ax I'm absolutely in the zone now, guys. I'm zeroed in. I'm focused. Striking the ball well. And it's like poetry in motion when I hit these levels. Looks like we're about 220 yards out. So it's another par 5 that we can hit in two. I'm just going to hopefully bounce this up onto the green. There is a huge lip here just before the green. It's a lottery where it bounces. Get up. Uh, just it just binds directly left. Should leave us with a chip shot though. But hopefully we can get close to leave the, the birdie opportunity. 13 yards. He's fully lofting this up and attacking it, guys. Get in. Oh, we just miss it on the left edge. And that's actually trickled. I'm gonna say about seven feet past. I would have liked that closer there, guys. Okay, let's see what you can do. Yeah, this seven feet footer. bang on. Not much in this. And we do manage to get another birdie to move us to nine under par for the round, guys. Wow. This is by far my best round on the Tarantula Golf Club. All right. Let's Hole 17 is a par three. 131 yards, just lofting this pitching wedge up a touch. It's another fantastic strike. It should bounce well. Sit down, sit down. Uh, I think I can only imagine we find a slight slope there, guys, but yardage wise, we played that well. There's going to be another birdie opportunity. It's breaking both ways. Nine footer, Just turn, boom, and unbelievably guys we get to 10 under par for the round, I, I never expected this before, um, before the round, I think I would have predicted if I was going to be kind 5 or 6 under, but we are double fingers under on the tarantula and that is uh, impressive by anyone's standards. 
Let's see if we can finish off with a birdie on hole number 18 for you guys. But keep your course recommendations coming in, guys, to find the, the hardest course on the Golf Club too. We will continue to run this series right up until um, the Golf Club 2019 is released. So it's another par 5 that we can attack in two here. Just going to fully loft this 6 wood up and take it on. Oh, this looks long. I'm going to be in the bunker here. Yeah, we are in the bunker. So hopefully we can get this close. And leave the, the birdie opportunity here. Tricky shot here. Very, very tricky shot. Just needs a delicate touch. That should sit down. That should sit... Oh, it has. Wow. And I've really set myself up well for the birdie right, here, guys. Why we do get the birdie and we finish at 11 under. Unbelievable, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. That is a 61 we've shot here at the Tarantula. I think the previous time I must have played this, guys, I gave it a 4 because I must have had a bad round. Let's alter that and give it a 5 start. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Enjoy your Easter break. I know I'm certainly going to enjoy it spending time with family. I will try and get a video up on Sunday for you guys. But in the meantime, um, enjoy the rest of the Good Friday. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Take care and peace out. Bye. Love you all.